Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel where I unbox slash uh, review slash talk about figures that I recently just bought. Uh, today, I have something I'm 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 excited about. I guess you could say it's a it's a McFarlane figure. Which, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know uh, I I'm not the biggest fan of McFarlane. I think they're decent. Uh, figures I just have a lot of issues with them so I guess we'll go ahead and get right on into it today we have what bam owl man from the McFarlane DC Universe toy line now when I first saw this line of figures get announced because this is a wave a builder figure wave if you couldn't tell I was fairly excited because I well, Suicide Squad just came out, and I love Starro, and I needed a Starro for my Suicide Squad, but the more I saw of it, the more disappointed I was, simply because the finished product really, it looks cool, it's a great sculpt, but there's quite a bit missing for it from me, uh, like, there's no articulation, there's no way to stand the figure up, It's it's just... It's a, a star, essentially, which on one hand's nice, it does look cool, but considering how weird this release was, uh, it's a little bit more frustrating and a little bit more of a hassle than I'd like to deal with. Uh, I guess we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I guess first we'll go over the box. Um, I do like McFarlane boxes. I think they do a good job showing you what you get. Uh, nice display. I love the look of this, the big window. If you turn it around over here, I love this. If, you, if, if you're the type to keep your figure in the box, this looks good on the side. This looks good from the front. So it looks good all around. Even if you come over here, not perfect with the Build-A-Figure piece in the way. But, you know, for the average figure, it's it's fairly decent. Of course, these are a little bit bigger than the average McFarlane box because it has the Build-A-Figure piece. Um, normally, they're maybe about that much thinner. I don't know. Uh, but it looks decent. If you go ahead and put uh, turn it around on the back, you have a picture of Starro, which is odd. You'd think you'd have a picture of Owlman, but I digress. Uh, you have all the information for the Build-A-Figure pieces. We have three, so we have his arms. Um... One is Superman. He comes with the this weird piece. Two is Wonder Woman. She comes with the main body. Uh, three is Owlman. And four, I think, is a Green Lantern. I don't remember. He's out already. Uh, it, see, this is the issue I had. They, they released this series throughout the year. So if you were really keeping up with it, you had to, like... Really keep an eye out for when they released, if they released, snag them if they were available in your store. It's just more of a hassle than just releasing the whole wave, I think. Uh, either way, you have to deal with scalpers, but... Uh, either way, it, it it's fine. You know, you get, you get a decent product. Pro Fuck. You get a decent product, and McFarlane Build-A-Figures are relatively decent so and they're not exactly expensive they're only a few dollars more than a regular figure which i appreciate i appreciate the option i like that mcfarlane will sell you a, a single figure and then for a little bit more he'll sell you build a figure so if you were a collector who wanted to save money you could go for just the single figure releases and then just be happy with that so pretty decent um i guess that's about it we can go ahead and crack this thing open and look at the figure oh you know what i keep forgetting i'm doing this trans i'm doing this transition thing so let's try it and that is the figure um i guess we'll go over the uh accessories first so this is a part of the build a figure uh both of these are they're softer than I thought they'd be. They, they kind of bend and move, and that's unexpected, but it's nice. They look really, really good. Look at that detail and the sculpt work. It looks amazing. I really, really like the way they look. Um, but like I said, it's just, I don't know. Could you imagine that holding up a big figure? I mean, these things are 
big, so clearly the figure is big. I can just see it flopping forward and just falling over all the time and just being a big mess, so it's going to be hard to complete this Build-A-Figure anyways. I don't know. I'm just... Now I have these, and I don't know what to do with them. The cooler thing is this. This is something you can, like, uh, put over your figure, because uh, this is how Starro kind of mind controls people. He shoots these out, and they just take over people's bodies. This looks really cool. The nice sculpt work on the inside. You can see the teeth right there, all the tentacles, really, really nice detail. The eyes, it looks amazing. So you could just like, um, I guess it could go any direction you really want. But, you know, just plop it on like so. I wish it kind of was a little bit tighter so it could, could hold itself. But, or even just like a little, I know McFarlane doesn't like to do that, but just like a little, uh, like a, like a headband type piece right there. So that you could just plop it onto any figure you want and it'll stay this is not really wanting to stay so that kind of sucks um but it does look cool and you can use it on pretty much any figure you want if you could get it to work um it really just doesn't want to work but that's the accessories let's go over the actual main star of the show um this is the main focus hold on you can barely see him uh owlman and right off the bat he looks really decent i like the look of him he's kind of like a uh alternative universe batman i know he's not that similar to batman he's i don't know i've never read the watchmen to be honest i know he's like supposed to be kind of a parody of batman in a way um, like a more pathetic Batman. I've watched the movies, so I know that much, but I know the movies aren't exactly perfect. Ooh, they fixed the ankle joints. Ooh. Okay, McFarlane. Okay. I like that. That looks significantly better. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know much about him other than he's Owlman. So, I guess we'll go over his look. He has this cool, it, it kind of looks like, um... Oh, what's his face from Kick Ass? Um, uh, God, I can't think. Nick Cage's character. Um, he kind of looks like that. He looks really cool. I love the goggles. They look awesome. Nice mask all around. It looks great. It, it's very uh, distinct from Batman. You know, it looks like it could be a Batman, but it stands out in its own way. You know, it's got its own different features. Its own different like the way the the points the ears are like slicked back more like an owl would be it works it looks good the shoulder pieces kind of drape over like jester uh uh I, I don't know what they'd be called like a jester you know how it kind of just falls over like that or like the undertaker in the 80s 90s early 90s very early 90s uh, the cape uh, looks very cool. It's it's more like feathers. They are layered. They look cool. Not much to them. It's soft, so that's good. But it is sculpted to be in a certain way. So no matter what, you're still going to get this shape out of it. But it is soft, so you can move it out of the way if you needed to for like if you're posing it for a scene. You have the owl logo right here. Nice chest piece. The arms. The arms look pretty decent. Oh. That just came right off. Uh, <laughs> it looks like they forgot to glue it. I don't see any glue on there. I think they just forgot to glue this. That just came right off. Um, can I put it back on? It kind of sticks on, but that's... Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. <laughs> McFarlane figures. Is this hand okay? Ooh. Uh, it sticks on, but that is both hands wow Oop. uh okay I, I fuck i guess i'll move on but that's disappointing you have the owl man belt here it looks fine i guess lots of pouches because that's the style um and then you have the pants down here they look 
nice. They're well textured. Looks good. Knee pads on both knees. Um, and then boots, of course, and I already mentioned the ankles, so fairly decent, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so it looks good. It feels good. Um, let's go over articulation real quick. Hopefully I won't knock the hands off again. The head will go, uh, well, let's see. It can go up fine. The hand fell again. And it can go down just as good. It can rotate all the way around, of course. And there is some head swivel. I'll try and get this back on. Um, I guess since it's off, I'll go over the way this looks. It's got kind of like um, more feathery style gauntlets. They look really cool. Uh, more talon-like claws. They're actually pretty sharp, so careful, I guess, if you're around kids. The articulation, this is so soft. McFarlane figures have soft plastic, and I don't necessarily love it. Um, as far as articulation goes, it looks like it's the same as it usually is. Just, um, it's on that, like a ball that kind of pivots and swivels, and I can't get it to swivel in the way I need it to in order to show that. There we go. So you can see it's on a ball like so, and then it will rotate if I can get it to like so, and then now it can go that way instead. So it, it's, if you can manipulate it in the way you want it to, it, it, it'll go in all different directions. Is that superior to the Marvel Legends way of doing things? Eh, I mean, you get more out of it, but honestly, it's such a hassle to use. I just, I don't know. I wish I had some super glue because I'd just fix that. I am going to be contacting, like, support over this, and I'll, I guess I'll let you guys know what happens with that because both hands falling off, that's not okay. Um, but I, dig I digress. <laughs> there I go, using that word again. Uh, the arms... Which one do I use? Because they're both shitty. Um, the arms go up to about there. They do ratchet. It's on one of those weirder um, butterfly joints that'll kind of go down and up and in and out. It, it'll go in all directions, but it won't go as far in all directions as a regular uh, butterfly joint will go. Uh, it, it's a fine butterfly joint. I'm not disparaging that. I just, um, like I said, I, I have preferences, and McFarlane usually goes the other direction with things. Uh, it will rotate all the way around. Of course, the shorter piece will get in the way, but it is soft plastic, so it'll move if you force it. Uh, uh, swivel at the bicep. That'll rotate all the way around, like so. Double-jointed. Elbows, not pinless, but that's fine. I don't mind it. It's in black, so the pins aren't super apparent. Uh, that's relatively fine. I have mentioned how the elbows on these McFarlane figures are sometimes an issue just because they look ugly you can kind of see like right there it's fine i guess but like i said decent uh he can make phone calls if you need him to or say he's like contacting the other watchman or whatever i don't know uh i guess it doesn't swivel here because well it's not on there um yeah, so there's no swivel down there. Just up here, up high. Ugh. Let's see, how does it go? Because it, it's a specific shape. It's kind of like a quarter circle. So it looks like... Like that. There. We'll see if that holds it. Uh, and then same thing for the wrists. I already mentioned that. The ab crunch looks like it's not going to be that great. It is not. Can it go back? It can go back some. Um, of course, some of that's the legs. But you're not getting much out of this guy. He can't do much. Add the legs into it. And yeah, he can go about 90. So, yeah, you know. Uh, he does have the diaper. The soft diaper that I... Bro, what is happening with this figure? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Uh, I know how to fix that, but that is such an annoying issue. What is happening? McFarlane, 
I was about to give you praise because I thought this looked like a decent figure. Oh my gosh, McFarlane. Uh, you kind of have to like rotate this back down so those uh, pegs are facing front and back and then they just slot into some holes on either side. This is decent. I do like McFarlane legs. I wish other companies would use them. Uh, maybe use them better than McFarlane has, I guess. I don't know. They're just kind of annoying to get on because you have to like get it through one hole and then try and get it through the other one and sometimes it just won't snap through the hole. Um, I think I got it though. But yeah, uh, I don't like the diaper. It comes off with the leg a lot and then you have the gappage. So if he's doing like a high kick or whatever, it looks odd, but it'll go up pretty high. It'll do a super kick pretty well. Um, there is that. It looks gross when he does it, but you know. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. Unless it falls off like it just did. I guess this one's fine. Oh, yeah, it it will also go like that, which is neat, I guess. There's no swivel here at the upper thigh, but uh, I'm okay with losing the upper thigh swivel. It's not something I use often because it usually breaks up the artwork, so I'm okay with that. Uh, Double-jointed knees, again, not pinless, but... Not a big deal. <laughs> this is a disaster. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that's decent. Um, again, no swivel down here. Which, eh, you know. Eh. Could be used, could not be used, I guess. Oh my god. The ankle is improved because it's normally like a little ball. Similar to the... Uh, the wrists, which I don't like because they're annoying to use. This one's a uh, sturdier piece, so I don't know if I'll have the issue of him tilting forward like my other McFarlane figures have. Um, this looks much more significant, so uh, it'll go down, but then I assume you could uh, rotate it. Well, it'll rotate down in there. Um, how do I get it to rotate here? Okay, so it'll rotate there. And then I can rotate that, and now he can have a broken ankle, I guess. Like so. But if I wanted it to go back, i just rotate it, and rotate it, and now he can go up and down again. A little bit better than it normally is. Um, I like that it's bigger because I don't have to rely on the foot to turn it. I can actually grab it to turn it. It's hard to turn, but, you know, it works. So you don't have to try and get it into a weird position just to turn it. Then there's the toe hinge, which take it or leave it. I say leave it, but then again, it makes the Spider-Man uh, Renew Your Vows figure ten times better. So I guess it depends on the figure. I don't think every figure needs a toe hinge. I think it depends on the figure. Like, I'm not getting Owlman down and some freaking Spider-Man poses where he needs his, you know, toes like that, you know. But Spider-Man, maybe an argument could be made. I'd say get rid of the toe hinge here and add a boot swivel or a thigh swivel. Again, those are both swivels I don't like, but, you know, um, or just make the figure cheaper. Or make the figure better <laughs> uh, and we won't have to deal with these issues there's even like a hair I don't think it's my hair my face hasn't been this close to the figure um, you can kind of see the uh, butterfly joint a little bit better on this side because it moves a little bit better it's all black so it's hard to see no matter what um, I guess you could see his back if you wanted to uh, yeah what can I say folks the leg popped off, the arms, um, this has not been a good showing for McFarlane. Come on, you can stand. So, um, I can't say I'm disappointed because I don't exactly have expectations for McFarlane figures, but for the money you pay for these things... I can't really say this is acceptable. 
Uh, and anyway, um, especially since the prices go up. I don't think the prices have gone up on McFarlane yet, but, you know, anticipate that coming because it will come. But, yeah, that's just horrible. I know I could super glue this myself, but I shouldn't have to. And if I'm a kid, I wouldn't be able to. I know kids aren't that stupid, but, you know, maybe they just don't know that's how they could fix it or whatever. And then it just, you know, doesn't get used. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. This is just the most annoying disappointment what can I say? Um, McFarlane, I know you're better than this. Because I've bought in better than this. Um, I'm glad to see improvements and other areas have been made. But genuinely, what in the world is happening here? Okay, you know what? That's just pretty much how I feel about the whole thing. Just throw it over there. Alright, well, this has been underwhelming um yeah so let me know what you guys think of mcfarland down in the comments below i think i've made my opinions fairly clear in this situation um yeah uh leave a like leave a comment leave a subscribe all the things youtubers ask you to do just do it for me as well and i'll hopefully be back with another video very very soon bye